So in yesterday's video, we talked about how co-op campaign flighting has been revealed to come next month. We got some extra details from the community manager over at 343 Unishack. Recently said that the team is currently heads down focusing on quality of life updates for Halo Infinite and preparing for the campaign network co-op flight next month. We'll have more to share on the June drop pod and campaign network co-op flighting on Waypoint in the coming weeks. So we actually have some something to look forward to when it comes to some information coming from here, guys. Uh, so we will get the June drop pod. Now, we don't really know exactly what's going to be involved with these drop pods since, well, they were pretty vague, honestly, when it came to what's going to be in it because they mentioned like features, content, and bug fixes and stuff like that. Though, it seemed like the idea of the drop pods is more about like updating the game to kind of fix it up properly and do more quality of life updates, which is definitely needed for Halo Infinite. I hope to see if we can get some actual content, something new to play around with. This is probably where we would see like that cross-core customization come in. Probably in this June drop pod, of course, we don't really know exactly what to expect for these drop pods until they actually come out. And once we do get some information about when it will happen, what's going to be in them, you know I'll share it here on the channel. Apparently, there was a bug that happened with Last Spartan Sanding where the playlist went down a little early and people getting compensated rather handsomely for this bug. For all the affected players, it says that if you complete at least one Last Spartan Sanding match during the second week of the interference event, which ran from the morning of May 10th until it came down on May 17th, you'll receive all 10 rewards for the event pass, which is quite generous, like I said. And additionally, players who progress but did not complete the week's ultimate challenge titled Breaker Breaker will receive the associated reward, the Battleship Haze coding for the MA-40 Assault Rifle, which is like they basically like, okay, we took it down like an hour early, and since you weren't able to complete it, here's everything. But reading some of the comments on Twitter, a lot of people weren't very happy about having to grind through a lot of the challenges and all of the kind of stuff to have it all just kind of given away for free. Uh, but, you know, I kind of expected that to happen. I mean, this, these events won't be coming back, right? This content won't be coming back. And if it did affect you, well, you could have all that stuff for free anyways, which, I mean, it's kind of like give and take. It doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Though the Halo community is also rather upset with the current customization stuff that's going on right now. If you guys remember on our yesterday's video, we talked about the co content coming in with the strong IRS bundle. But you can see right here, back in February, the players were offered the Whispered Sky coding as well. And you can really see, well, you probably can't even tell the difference right here in this video because of the way YouTube compresses things, but they're basically the same coding right here. This is the main reason why I don't really bother buying into these different types of coatings because they're just like colors. That's all they really are. And so for 343 to effectively release the exact same coding, except this time it's a more of a shade of purple and less shiny gold, it's just like, man, you're really just repackaging and reselling things to us right now. If 343 did more customization when it comes to like something standing out more uniquely, then I would definitely be willing to buy into a lot of this customization. But a lot of it's just like colors and average armor sets, something really stands out to make it look like I bought this or this is something that's really cool. Just some very keen eyed viewers right there that caught that. I'm like, man. Really, we're doing that now, 343? So the YouTuber Mint Blitz recently posted this up going like, is this real? And it's been kind of going around the internet a little bit and we actually had that reply from 343, but the states were here saying, I work at a theater near Kirkland, which is near the studio of 343. An employee from 343 came to me at see at the movie. I asked him if, flo if the flood will be revealed in the campaign anytime in the future DLC. He said, keep an eye peeled this October, which people were like, Really? That definitely sparks my interest, especially we've seen some leaks about some for flood like kind of stuff when it comes to infection with the multiplayer. But the community manager, Unishek, put this to rest. And he just said, no, like this isn't like a real thing. This is completely fabricated. This is just some guy online trying to get some clicks and stuff like that. So we've seen people talking about the flood returning in October. That's just not happening. I think this is just kind of playing off of the whole leak season that we're in right now as we have the Xbox Bethesda showcase happening this Sunday, which I will be doing the watch party live stream on my Twitch channel, guys. If you want to come by and check it out, we'll be going live at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to catch all the awesome greatness right there. My expectations for this uh, reveal is that if we get anything Halo related, which has been pretty quiet when it comes to this Xbox Bethesda showcase and leaks going around, 
on right now. Uh, but my expectations would probably be just highlighting what a forge is. We might actually see a little bit more season three content, new weapons and stuff like that coming in. Uh, but for the most part, I'm kind of setting my expectations rather lightly. Uh, my big hopes though, is that we see a reveal of Tatanka mode that's from Certain Affinity, which is rumored to release at the end of this year. Of course, we'll get waiting until we get the actual reveal here this Sunday, which I certainly will cover a ton on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed to catch those videos when they do go live. Now I know if you come to this channel, you're probably hungry for the details as we all know them around here, but are you also hungry for snacks as in tasty treats from trytreats.com trytreats recently sent me a box of some goodies that you get from international locations which is really awesome and the box they sent me is actually two countries of croatia and serbia So if you're missing your favorite treats from the country you used to live in or want to expand your snaggy borders, make sure to check out TryTreats.com, link in the pinned comment in the description down below. And if you use my code KevinCoolX at checkout, you get 15% off your first purchase. So if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you give TryTreats a look. Well, thank you TryTreats for supporting the channel. Let's get right back into those details. Now we can't talk about gaming news if we can't talk about the reveal of Modern Warfare 2 that just happened today and this was a really cool reveal trailer just kind of giving some glimpses of what to expect, the tone and things like that. We're not going to get a full any kind of gameplay reveal right now though tomorrow at Summer Games Fest, we actually will get a gameplay reveal showcasing the one of the levels in the map, most likely a stealth mission or something like that. But so far, Modern for 2 is looking really awesome. There actually are some great details that were recently revealed as well as some uh, creators were able to get a chance to play the game early. They were able to provide some information. So I wrote down some notes of what they actually were talking about. So for the campaign side of things, this takes place three years after the events of Modern Warfare 2019, and it looks like you'll be hunting down a dangerous ter terrorist, looking like that's probably that character Hassan that they mentioned at the beginning of this trailer as well. Uh, other than that, that's kind of like most of the stuff that you saw right here in this trailer, just kind of like elaborate on that a little bit, and that's kind of the entire campaign. So this definitely looks like it has some really interesting gameplay mechanics. They definitely mentioned swimming is a big thing in this game, which is very interesting to know about. They have a lot of multiplayer details as well. Some of my notes here are talking about they actually added in a clam clam some of my notes here are written down saying that the multiplayer has a climbing mechanic where you can kind of peek over the ledge in the way kind of like how you can in Apex Legends or how in Tomorrow for 2018 where you can climb a ladder and then kind of shoot and stuff like that. Very awesome right there. Again, swimming is a big mechanic. You can swim on top and underwater and you can shoot underwater as well, much like in Black Ops 3. Now, there are some, are some mechanics when it comes to the vehicle hijacking just like Halo, like that's what some a lot of people are saying, like it's similar to Halo with vehicle hijacking in Modern Warfare 2, which is really awesome. Helps kind of lower the overpoweredness of some of the vehicles when it comes to the previous games. The Gunsmith is returning with 10 attachments, much like we've seen in the last few games as well. But it looks like there's gonna be kind of a slider focus kind of thing. So you kind of focus attachments into different categories to kind of balance them out a little bit. Like if you really want to reduce the recoil, you can kind of slide it more that way, but probably have some counterbalance where maybe like it has more spread or damage or range is reduced or something like that. That's a very interesting mechanic. I'm sure we'll learn more about it probably around the end of August when usually we get the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty. Uh, they also say that Modern for 2 is going to have Warzone 2. Like that's been like actually official now. It's been a long time leak that we'll have a Warzone 2. It's kind of like a refresh of the Warzone game mode, but they said it's not a fixed name. They could possibly rename it something else besides Warzone 2. It's also going to be on Steam and on mobile platforms as well. They also have a dive to pro mechanic kind of like dolphin diving remember from like black ops one but it says it's a little bit different you can also have some more utility to it as well it's not just like a way to nerf uh the drop shot which was kind of the initial idea of the dolphin dive from black ops one also have a troop carrier helicopter like in Warzone. This one has a little bit more lethal than the one they have right now. So definitely interesting to look at. New equipment like the tactical camera, which is kind of set up. And then if you kind of like keep an eye on certain locations, much similar to we had in Black Ops 1 as well. And finally, we have large ground war maps returning from the previous game of 2019 as well. So really great stuff to see coming in for Call of Duty here. I'm genuinely excited about this game. And I definitely will be covering it on the channel here, guys. If you want to catch up more Call of Duty news, make sure you subscribe to the channel here as well. My initial impressions of the reveal trailer for Modern Warfare 2 is that it looks good. I think it captures the tone properly. 
I think the game looks amazing as well graphically. Oh, a surprising amount of in-game shots as well. Obviously, they're more kind of cinematic-y, kind of like using theater mode kind of stuff. Uh, but you definitely saw some in-engine stuff, which is really great to see. Well, though, with this reveal, they didn't really showcase anything like new to the series. Like we've had swimming before. Like it's kind of like the big thing that they really kind of revamped with Modern Warfare 2 for this time around. Uh, but nothing really too crazy, but that's not really what I'm hoping for with the Call of Duty game. I just kind of wanted to have like good solid mechanics, which we had in 2019. Just like I would like to see things like the audio kind of reworked. I'd like to see the maps be able to have a little bit better flow, less angles to get shot from and things like that. Because uh, there's always seems like a Call of Duty game, you're always so close to perfection, but you can always just fall just short to being a really amazing game. Hopefully they took a lot of the learnings that we had from Modern Warfare 2019, brought them over to Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, that trailer, it looked awesome. Like it's got me hyped. I'm still kind of excited about it. They didn't really reveal anything that I wasn't really kind of expecting already with the game. Uh, they didn't like drop, and my jaw certainly wasn't dropped, but it definitely looked pretty awesome. Some cool elements in the campaign being showcased right there. Again, we'll have a campaign gameplay reveal tomorrow at Summer Games Fest. I definitely will cover it here on the channel though. If you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.